I've been working as a filmmaker for almost 20 years now. I've been very fortunate to travel the world, met some really interesting people. But when I think about the most important thing I've ever filmed, it always comes back to two interviews. The first one was with my mum, and the other one was with my dad. Did you have any girlfriends during your teenage years? Yes. Do I have to discuss them with you? <laughs> what are your memories of being a teenager? Oh, I was terribly goody-goody, but I was quite happy. It's something that I'm so pleased that I did. I learned so many things about my parents by doing these two interviews. I learned how they felt about becoming a grandparent. I learned more things about their childhood I didn't know, about their beliefs, about their thoughts, about getting older. And I also now have a document, a record of those conversations, of those stories that they told. And so I can pass them down to the next generation. We were playing bridge with these friends, I don't know, once a month or so. Now, I had no wish to play bridge at all, but I only played bridge because I liked him. I took her home to her flat. We were sitting in the car. For some reason, I was holding her feet. I was always cold, so he was actually sitting with my feet in his hands. And it just occurred to me to propose to her. <laughs> and I said, um, yes. And then I thought, I've got him. I'll stop playing bridge. <laughs> I've always been really interested in social history, which is probably why I started my career as a documentary filmmaker. But I think particularly as I get older, just having these documents, these photos, these video clips is something that is really important to me in order to preserve and remember the past. I started my career in the early 2000s working in television and at that point everything was still filmed on tape. I remember one day being on a shoot and a cameraman said to me that when you start filming something on a brand new tape, you should always leave the first 30 to 60 seconds to record bars and tone or just rubbish. The idea being that the start of the tape might be warped and you might lose that footage. So never record anything really important at the start of a tape. When everything became tapeless and we moved over to memory cards, this is a habit that stuck with me. And I remember the night before many shoots just filming something on a memory card, 30 to 60 seconds worth of footage, and inevitably that footage would be of one of my cats. Sadly, the majority of these cats have now died, but being a cat person, these clips just become really valuable and important to me. Randomly just documenting your life and the things going on around you can create memories and evoke feelings for many years to come. My eldest son Jack is now six years old, but when he was born, I documented his first few days and turned this into a little short film. And this set a template for always creating a short film about my boys as they turn a year older. I've made a rod for my own back now, and every birthday each year I will make a film about my two boys. It's a lot of work, but these films are probably the most important thing that I film every year. So documenting my own life and those who are closest to me has become something which is really, really important to me. And I'm going to give you a few tips for how you can document your own life and create these really evocative memories for the future. Don't just document the big events. It's kind of a given that you will take photos and video clips of big events like holidays, birthdays and weddings. But really you should commit to just trying to take photos, video clips of the everyday, the mundane things which you think will be throwaway. There's so many times when I look back on video clips of me as a child when I'm doing very little and the clip may only be about 30 seconds but I always wish it was longer. Just documenting your everyday events may seem fairly innocuous and throwaway. The reward comes further down the line. My most favourite clip I've ever filmed on my phone was from a couple of years ago. My two boys happened to be walking through some water down by the beach and my little boy Tom turned around and said Oh, I'm too wetty! I'm too wetty has become folklore in this house and it's probably going to be one of the strongest memories I ever have of him as a child. So picking up a camera and randomly documenting a throwaway moment has created a really strong and important memory for me which is going to last for the rest of my life. Document, don't create. Gary Vaynerchuk talks about this a lot. And the idea is that you shouldn't put pressure on yourself by trying to create something. Just documenting your everyday life in time will create its own little story. Commit to documenting your life every day. Use your phone to shoot some video clips, take some photos. These are not gonna be used for social media purposes. They're just for you. The quality of the image is not important. It's all about the memory that it evokes. Start a YouTube channel. 
I'm still relatively new to YouTube, but over the last few months, I've learned how to juggle fire. I've pushed myself harder than I thought possible at running. I've got up at the weekends to experience sunrises and sunsets. I've exercised more. I've just become a better and more passionate filmmaker. Starting a YouTube channel means that you are documenting your life. You are showing other people what you get up to and what you find interesting. There's gonna come a time in the future where you're then able to look back fondly at the experiences that you've gone through. Print your photos. Whilst a digital image can be nice, the best way to fully appreciate a photo and the memory behind it is to get it printed. Now, this can be quite a daunting prospect, especially if you have hundreds or even thousands of photos stored on your phone. But there are various apps and websites you can use, such as Snapfish, which is what I used, to get these photos printed, and you can upload them directly from your phone. And this takes away a lot of the pain involved in the process. If you'd like to see more of my videos on the themes of productivity, fitness, and creativity, then do hit the subscribe button. If you do that, I will see you in the next video.